All right, today you guys have Delta Math. This is one of your final assignments for the year. Okay, so uh, this section, your, uh, your assignment today is going to have two parts in it. 15 problems are going to be multiplying and dividing, and 15 problems are going to be adding and subtracting. Now, uh, you are maxed out at 15, so you are not going over that. So let's take our time and make sure that they're right. Okay, so we've got here, this is a division problem. Uh, this is square root of 48 over 4. Now, square root of 48 isn't a perfect uh, uh, square root, but it does have a perfect square factor, uh, 16. So we're going to break this up into the square root of 16 times the square root of 3, okay, all over 4. Now, the square root of 16 we can take. It's going to give me 4. So I have 4 square root of uh, 4 square root 3 over 4, and the fours can reduce. These are now both rational and they can reduce. So you can come down here and just put in square root three. Now, going into the next problem. Here, it's asking us to multiply. And you can do a couple different approaches, but uh, we're going to multiply rational times rational. So 6 times 7 is going to give me 42. Okay. Now we're going to have radical 10 times radical 20 is going to give me radical 200. There is a shorter approach that you can do to, with this, uh, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So once we have this, we're now going to take this and break it apart. So the square root of 100 times the square root of 2 is how we can break up 200. The square root of 100 we can take, it's 10. So now this is rational and it can join the, the 42 on the outside. So we now have 420 square root two. Now, one of the things I, I would suggest is if you know this, this is gonna be divisible by uh, both root 10 and root 20 are, are divisible by 10, I can actually break it up into root 10 uh, times two for 20 and one root 10 times one root 10 will give you 10, okay? So that, uh, for me, that's a shorthand. If, uh, if you don't like that, then continue just to multiply what's outside with what's outside, what's inside with what's inside the radical, and then simplify uh, accordingly. For me, I just find that if I don't need to multiply because I know where the end result's gonna go, it's gonna save me a little bit of time. Okay, again, I'm gonna use my alternate technique in this one. So just like before, we're gonna multiply. So what's outside times what's outside, eight times two is gonna give me 16. Now I see that this is divisible by five and so is that. So this is gonna give me a root five times root six. I now have one, two, root fives, if I multiply that together, that will give me root 25. And the square root of 25 is five. So I'm gonna have a five on the outside, and the only thing that's left underneath is gonna be the root six. So now all I have to worry about is 16 times five, which is gonna give me 80. So 16 times five is 80, square root six. And we're looking pretty good. Uh, last one of these, well, actually, let, let me try and find another division problem. So again, I see they're both divisible by six. So I'm going to use my shortcut again. Two times nine is going to give me 18. I've got a root six and a root six. So I'm going to break this up into root six times root three. Well, a root six times a root six is going to give me root 36 or just six times square root three. Okay, now I can focus on 18 times six, and that is gonna be 60 plus 48, so that's 108. 108 square root, oops, square root three. Okay, good, we've got another division problem. Okay, remember, we can't keep a radical in the denominator. So in this case, I see um, oh, this is going to reduce very easily. 
I see it ends in 75, so it's divisible by 25. So I'm going to go root 25 times root 7. Okay, and the square root of 25 is 5. So I now have 5 square root 7 over 5. The 5s will reduce, and we are left with square root 7. I'd like to do a couple more division problems, but they're not really giving me, giving me plain vanilla ones. All right, let's see. Uh, this one, you can multiply them together and take out. I see that this is square root 2 times square root 5, and this is square root 2 times square root 3. Okay, I broke it up that way because I know they're both divisible by 2. So square root of 2 times square root of 2 will give me square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. And what's left underneath is going to be the 5 times the 3 or the uh, 2 root 15. Okay, so this is going to give me 2 square root 15. And this one is going to give me the same. So uh, types of problems they keep sending me are the same, so there, there's not going to be shortcut division. Uh, but this one would be square root 9 times square root 3. So your numerator would be 3, square root 3, and the 3s can reduce. Okay, try to remember that you can reduce rational with rational and irrational with irrational. So if there was a square root of, let's say, 27 down here, Square root of 27 and square root of 27 can cancel. Unfortunately, they didn't give me any examples where I could show that. Okay, guys, um, do your best, and I'll put up another video on the adding or subtraction.